These new .4 builds are absolutely crazy in NBA 2K22. Not only can this build shoot better than two ways, but it can shoot consistent from anywhere on the court while unlocking every single dribble move in the game. The build might not have as high as defensive stats as some other ISO builds, but it will still be defending at a very high level, especially with how oversized the build is with its very long frame. Not only that, but this build unlocks park dunks in some crazy never before seen Spider-Man dunks. This build will also be able to unlock shot creating takeover, giving it the ability to not only break ankles, but take crazy spin shots and fadeaway shots and step back shots that you never thought you would be able to do as a point forward. Especially after the most recent patch, this build will take over NBA 2K22. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H D F, and I am back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, I have a build video for you guys. Yes, two builds in one video, two very dominant point four builds. I'm gonna show you guys how to make in this video. Now, I do make a lot of builds, by the way. Also, the gameplay you are seeing is after the most recent patch that patched a lot of drill moves. So yes, this build is going to be even better after the patch. But I do make a a lot of builds and just because i make new builds guys if you made my old builds doesn't mean those old builds are bad i just really like making new builds and trying to you know destroy the build system and just kind of make some glitchy builds and i definitely you know broke the build system in one of these builds you're gonna see the badge count one of these builds it's very broken later in this video but make sure to drop a like if you guys want me to make more build videos because i do like making builds and i'm definitely gonna have a legend build coming up especially in season four so drop a like for more builds subscribe to the channel if you guys are new 600k on the way if you guys are a new subscriber off this video make sure to comment down below 600k but yes this point four build that i made um i i'm only i only maxed out one of the two builds i'm going to show you guys the gameplay you're seeing uh, is going to be one of the builds i show you guys in this video yes both these builds can defend at a high level you know dunk one of them gets contact dunks they can both shoot at a very high level and unlock several different takeovers for you guys and as you can see i have literally shot creating takeover on this build you guys don't see a lot of builds with shot creating takeover this build look at these fades i'm doing i'm just doing some weird stuff with this build and it can literally make all the whites on the face like the fades are so overpowered with shot creating takeover every white goes in it's very easy to green as well but anyways let's go ahead and get into this build tutorial show you guys the badges the stats all that good stuff for both these builds and let's get straight into it oh yeah y'all we are finally in the build creator and i am going to give you guys the two best point forward builds in the game now if you guys do have my other two-way builds those builds are still great and my quote-unquote three-way playmaker is still my favorite build and probably the best build i have right now but you know every season i like to make new overpowered builds and this season we're going to show you guys the best point four builds a two in one video so make sure you guys drop a like right now now the first build i'm going to show you guys is a i think a literal glitch in the build system now i do not have this build maxed out i will probably eventually make this build the point four that i was showing gameplay of and that i do have maxed out is going to be the second build i show but this first one i think is an actual glitch in the build system i don't think this is supposed to happen so as you guys know i usually go shooting guard so let's say i go shooting guard the pie chart for this point four build is going to be that yellow blue one the half and half and i'm just gonna pick whatever physical profile now watch this when i max out the playmaking it gives me 25 playmaking badges now that's actually a lot for a yellow blue but usually when you have a half and half you can never get to 30 on one of those categories you know if you make a play shot yellow green you can't get to 30 shooting or 30 playmaking or if you know if you go a yellow red a two-way build you can't get to 30 defense or 30 playmaking but on this build you can uh if you go to small forward and it's only for this pie chart as far as i'm concerned if you go to yellow blue again and we're gonna go with the first uh physical right here so we can get that max speed to speed pie chart now remember this is the same pie chart just different position look at this 30 playmaking on a half blue half yellow hall of fame make playmaking and hall of fame finishing this build is glitchy okay so we're gonna upgrade it the best way possible now you probably don't actually need 30 playmaking badges but 
even if you don't go get 30, you're still gonna have a ton of extra attribute upgrades remaining because you know the less you upgrade it still gives you way more than usual if, if that makes sense anyways so we're gonna start with the driving we do get hall of fame finishing on this build so we're gonna get a max dunk max layup and we're actually gonna max the close shot too if you even go down one more it goes to 14 so 15 finishing badges on this build that's definitely gonna be more than enough now the shooting is just gonna be like a two-way um my the next point four build i show in this video is gonna be better shooting than usual but this is like the same three-pointer as like a two-way build so it's gonna be like a 60 three-pointer and we could get 12 shooting but we're actually going to go down to 11 shooting just to save some attribute upgrades to spread in other places uh now we go with the playmaking max pass accuracy max ball handle and we're going to put the post control to a 57 which is going to give us 24 playmaking badges that is definitely more than enough now if you want to go 30 you know go for it but you're going to have to you know lose on some other stuff like shooting defense or finishing now the defense this is the bad part about this build and this is why i like two ways better but point forwards are going to be a lot better especially in season three because of the patch defense got a buff uh, play shots got a nerf and tall oversized iso builds are going to be crazy anyways perimeter defense max lateral quickness max steel max block we're going to go to a 60 and then defense rebound we are going to go to a 68. That's going to give us seven defensive badges, 24 playmaking, 11 shooting, 15 finishing with Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame playmaking. Oh my God, this build is going to be crazy. Not only that, we are in the metric system. Remember that. So we're going to go compact. Now, right here is 6.7, this 2.01. Um, and 6.6 is 1.98. Now, we want to get an 85 plus ball control on this player so we can unlock every single dribble possible. I'm going to go 1.99 so I can not only be in between 6.6 and 6.7, but I can also get every dribble in the game. So if we go 1.99, we're going to go minimum weight right here. We're actually going to go one above minimum weight. And then we're going to go ahead, max the wingspan. And look at this, bro. 99 speed at 99. I'm gonna have a 67 three-pointer, which is more than enough. I'm gonna have a 90 driving dunk at 99. An 86 ball handle, so all the drill moves. A 64 block with 80 low 80 defensive stats, which isn't even that bad, bro. An 81 steal and an 80 perimeter defense with max wingspan, 86 ball control, 67 three-pointer, and a 90 dunk. Like a 90 dunk is crazy, and a 94 layup. This build is looking devious, okay? And now you do get playmaking or slashing takeover. I don't really like playmaking takeover this year. You guys can go ahead and choose it. But if I had to choose, I'm going slash and takeover, bro. We get Hall of Fame finishing. Now, this build is not going to come out to the point forward name. The next build that I show you guys in this video will. But this is the slashing playmaker. And this is option number one you could choose for a point forward type build. All right, the next build we are going to make is the point forward. I have maxed out at 99 overall. The one you guys saw was shot creating takeover. This is also going to be a small forward. We're going to go ahead ahead and continue now, this pie chart is not the same pie chart as the first one i showed you guys this one's actually going to be a pure yellow so we're only going to get hall of fame playmaking um and we're also going to go with this speed pie chart now to start we're going to go to with an 83 close shot we're going to max the layup max the dunk and then we're going to put the standing dunk to a 27 so plus one and we're going to get four finishing so that way we can get our limitless takeoff and maybe like fearless finisher or something because you don't want to make a build with no limitless takeoff that would be i don't know that'd be very risky anyways shooting we're to max the mid-range and max the three-pointer max the free throw get the post fade to a 60 and as you can see 14 shooting badges that that is good if you max it out you can get to 15 but i'd rather take the 10 extra attribute upgrades and look it as you can see you're gonna see later on too this three-pointer is clearly a lot higher than most of my iso builds now we're gonna max the pass accuracy max the ball control we're actually gonna go down on the best accuracy to an 86 so we get 30 playmaking badges yes you're gonna be able to run every dribbling badge in hall of fame you're gonna be able to have dime or floor general all that stuff and that's what makes this build so good as well the other thing you want to do is max the perimeter defense lateral quickness steal block defensive rebound and then even get a plus 13 to the interior defense that is going to give us eight defensive badges 30 playmaking 14 shooting and four finishing 
pretty well balanced now this one actually has more defensive batters more playing batters and more shooting batters than the first build i showed you just not as good as finishing but it can still get the job done now we're gonna go with the body shape compact now the height now i did say earlier in the video that 2.01 was 67 but actually it's 2.006 so technically 2.01 is like barely above 67 but yes this is 67 and this is the height we're actually gonna go with um any other height would just be too slow for me in my opinion like look at my defensive stats they take a, they take a huge hit the three-pointer takes a hit and plus six eight wouldn't even be until 2.03 anyways so there's just no point in going that tall so we're gonna go 2.01 we're gonna go with minimum weight and actually if you go back here and go up and down look at that oh y'all see the speed difference look at that's a little trick i just got a plus one speed of the build critter see i'd be breaking down the build critter just doing little things just to make your build a little better so yes now we're gonna get 99 speed at 99 with gym rat you're gonna want to max that wingspan y'all already know i'm always maxing the wingspan on all my iso builds anyways look at the look at these stats a 70 at 99 overall we're gonna have a 76 dunk that is more than good enough uh, a 73 three-pointer that is way higher than most of my builds at 87 ball handle so we're to unlock every single drill move in the game and pretty good defensive stats a 68 block you know high 70 uh defensive stats 78 rebound this is a good build now the stats might not be like really appealing but what you have to understand is the height the frame of this build and the badge count especially under playmaking this build is going to be super fast at a very tall height now we're going to go ahead and continue now the options you get for taking over is playmaking slashing shot creator i would not go with playmaking i just don't like that takeover slashing i already had that on my other build so we actually went with shot creating takeover which is actually going to make the shooting on this build a lot better as well and i'm also going to be able to do a bunch of crazy like spin shots and phase shots as well so yeah and you get some angle breakers with it too if you put on space critters so yeah shot creating takeover and that is going to give us the point forward build name those are the 2.4 builds i would suggest to you now let's get into the badges and the stats now as you guys can see i have my point four build out right now and i know i'm uploading this video in season three and it's like season two right now but I had to record this in advance it's still the same build the same stats and they already made the gameplay changes this season three at the time i'm recording this video and all the clips i showed so nothing is changing gameplay wise they're just putting out new rewards in like a new park i guess or whatever but anyways so i'm gonna be showing you guys the progression at 99 so here are the official 99 overall stats yes 99 speed 96 excel 76 vertical 99 stamina i have the plus one mid-range sleeve on a 73 three-pointer 79 mid-range 76 layup good defensive stats 87 ball handle and once again we are just a little bit over six foot seven with this build and shot creating takeover now the badges of course these are the finishing badges i went with once again the only reason i got any finishing badges because i knew i needed limitless takeoff to make the build a whole lot better and then obviously we put on fearless finisher as well the shooting badges i'm going with now this build can hunt for threes a little bit more so i decided to put on blinders and dead eye because i do like to shoot a lot of threes with this build and then of course the regular badges i always run gold sniper gold hot zone gold stop and pop and bronze lucky number seven then the playmaking badges now this is when i'm on the ones court um i just go overkill on dribbling badges i just put everything on hall of fame but if i'm only on twos especially after the patch i'll actually take off hyperdrive i'll take down hyperdrive all the way and that way i can have hall of fame floor general or hall of fame dimer and then i also put space critter down to silver uh so i can get silver bullet passer put on hall of fame dimer or maybe i could do silver dimer hall of fame bullet passer it's really just up to you or you could completely take off space critter put on dimer or floor general doesn't matter but make sure you do have bullet pass up there now the defensive bet is i have silver clamps silver intimidator bronze chase down bronze rip or bronze pickpocket gold rip protector so i can get my takeover boost from that and then of course chase down gives me those chase down animations but anyways that is the badge layout i am using for my point four build all right as we look over some more gameplay right now i'm going to talk about 
the strengths in this point forward build. Now, obviously, after the recent patch, a lot of things have changed. But like I said earlier in the video, oversized guard builds are going to be even more overpowered. And they're going to be very good in this game. So it might be time for you to make one of these point four builds. But anyways, the shooting is even better than my two-way shooting. Especially with shot creating takeover, whether it's standing shots, step back shots, spin shots, fadeaways. It is very easy to shoot with this build. The green window feels gigantic. And even if you white every fading mid, most of them are actually going to go in. Now the driving on this build, obviously if you pick the first build, you're going to get contact dunks. But the build I made, you have gold limitless takeoff. You have bronze fearless finisher. As long as you put on the mono Ginobili, the double clutch, and the Clay Thompson dunk packages, you're going to be good. And plus, you're going to be taller than most defenders guarding you. So your driving is going to be fine. Playmaking, obviously good. You unlock every dribble move in the game. You're also going to have a 99 speed at over 6'7". Yes, you're going to be a little taller than 6'7 because we use the metric and max wingspan. That is crazy. Now, speaking of defense, the defensive stats might not look crazy, but the defense is ab absolutely insane. You have to remember, we're a little taller than 6'7". We have max wingspan. We're just as tall as just about any big man in the game, okay? So, we're going to be able to play lower on people while still getting a contest. It's going to be harder for people to contest us and we maxed our interior defense so the interior defense is going to be good the blocks the steals are there the defense is actually very elite on this build these 2.4 builds are definitely the two best point forward builds in the game but if this video helped you out at all make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and make sure to follow my twitch i'm going to be streaming on twitch i have been streaming on twitch the last couple days and we're going to continue this daily upload grind we're on three days right now but yeah make sure to sub up 600k on the way it's been your boy henry AKA Double HDF and I'm out, y'all. I ain't Peace. never had no friends, I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own. They say, no, girls are the same, brother, they're my dog. She said, can you stay with me? No, I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my neck. It's wet, I'm about to flex up on my necks.